All right, so what I was saying was uh, where we're standing now, hopefully it's not like this 28 days from now. <laughs> hopefully the weather's a lot nicer. Uh, where we're standing right now, this is, has been the stroller building, uh, rentals, and this will continue to be the same location, uh, but it's being renovated. So what's behind everybody was where the electrical paneling IT is going to go for Twisted Cyclone. So that will be boarded off. Where you're standing now is where the rentals will be. Um, I was joking that this thing here is where the ride photo is going to be, but this is not. <laughs> this actually goes on top of the Cyclone Q building, um, and that will be installed towards the end, and a flag will fly off the top of this. Um, and I'll show you where that is in a second. Where Greg is standing, or to my right, um, in the corner here, that is where the lockers are currently. They are going inside the queue line, and this area will all be storage for the strollers. So if you remember, they kind of were just kind of hanging out here. You can see them as you walk by. Won't have that anymore. It's going to look much cleaner and nicer in here. And then again, it'll take on the same features that you've seen in the area uh, with Twisted Cyclone. Across from us is Johnny Rockets. You may have noticed that the planners that were in front of Johnny Rockets were these two white <coughs> mounds of dirt now are. Uh, that, they are obviously gone. And we are renovating Johnny Rockets. They'll get a new facade. The outdoor will get renovated. There'll be new seating and other things inside of there, I, of which I actually don't know all the details yet because, as I told you, it was just approved yesterday, but Dale knows. And we are putting uh, self, the first self-service kiosks in one half of the queue line for folks to be able to process ASDP and, and hopefully get served much quicker. Lenny and, uh, and now Jason have been working very hard. The whole kitchen is getting a redo to be able to deliver uh, what is some of our, our most popular food in the park much more quickly and more efficiently. So we hope that's a much better experience and a lot more seating and shade outside of the building. That's why the planners are gone, enabling us to open it up and have a lot more seating and creature comforts as parents um, either wait for their uh, children to get off the ride or uh, just to make this a much more sociable environment. And I can tell just from walking down here yesterday, it's the first day I saw without paper, uh, without the planners, and it already feels so much wider and there's still a big mound there. So two big mounds. So it'll look really great in this area. So. I think the rain has slowed down enough that we can walk out. The train car, the red one, is over here. You're welcome to take pictures with it. Uh, so do that now. We do want to get a group photo of everybody in front of the train car. So take your pictures, and then we'll grab everybody for a quick photo there, depending upon the weather. Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> Sorry. I think somebody asked me about the license plate, wasn't it you? So that is just the, uh, the temporary one. There's going to be a different license plate on there when we actually open the ride. Do you have any plans to wrap this in some kind of marketing and advertising like no. bar? No, it's too beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's too beautiful right now. <laughs> The control panel is back there for the feet. And by the way, notice the these two roofs on the left were just done yesterday. The the roof on the right will, will take on that red color, and as time goes on, it'll get a little bit more red when it ages a little bit. So, um, and the facade you see here, the yellow facade, think of that look on all these buildings, more of a, I think uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama. Yeah, less Tudor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
And the Johnny Rockets roof will be painted blue. Nice. Post online. Same color blue. Let me just. Uh, close. So uh, over here, uh, obviously this is the entrance to uh, what will be the entrance to Twisted Cyclone. I believe it's a little wider than it was previously. It definitely is. So the building, the little dip and dot building that really never was used, was over here where Dale and I are standing. That's gone. This is the potential spot for the ride photo. The other potential spot would be in the Emperor's Brim area, but this will be the exit queue area, will be through here. In the actual queue house, all your lockers are going to be basically from this side over. So you'll be able to put all your stuff in your lockers and then you'll queue into here. All the queuing is being redone. The decking's being redone. The stairs are being redone. You'll see as we go out here, you'll see there's no stairs, or there wasn't at 4.45 yesterday <laughs> afternoon, into the rides sta uh, to the station. So we can't even go up there right now. But they're putting all the flooring, new queuing. The station's getting totally remodeled as well. And, and the queue house will also have a, a theme package, obviously, relating to the... Uh, the Twisted Cyclone theme. No bags or anything on the floor. <laughs> the storage lockers will be inside. Yeah, the storage lockers will literally be right um, in here against the wall. Yeah. Up to this point. And you come around the corner. That was the first piece of track that was installed early as December 1st. Oh yeah. The railings, as you see, they will not be that wood color. They're going to paint it just like the rest of the ride in that kind of grayish white color. Um, the station will get painted as well. You can see over here, straight ahead of me, is where there are no stairs. There will be, um, be nice fencing around this area. The whole rock is fun. Yeah, it's like <laughs> There will be a flash pass line. It will be somewhere in this area as well. Obviously, it's hard to visualize where it would be without it being there, but it, there will be a flash pass entrance on this side. And I was just told yesterday, hopefully this stays the same, the back part of this building, the back part, the back part of this building with those storm lights, the mercy lights right there, that's currently where some IT equipment is. That's actually being removed and torn down as well. Oh, okay. This will really be opened up. Just this back piece here with the blue and the white, that looks really kind of out of place. It'll be chopped down to go even with the rest of the Thank you. Huh? Yeah, they took all of her signs out of there. <laughs> it's probably some, I've been finding my signs somewhere every day there's around a, this area. There's one Georgia Cyclone sign left in the key yeah, building. Yeah, it was funny when we closed it, we still have the sign up there, so everyone's asking. Auction roll? Uh, if you guys just walk around that pathway, They need the key, Dale. Oh, Dale. <laughs> the key. For the gate? Yeah, we'll hold <laughs> One thing, when you come through here, Dale will lead the way. Look to uh, left. You'll notice that there's pieces of track leading to the lift hill that are not there. The reason why it's not there is because we have to get the uh, crane in and out of that area to continue to add track. Oh. So that'll actually be one of the last pieces of track put on the ride. Oh, interesting. Oh, Thank you. 
Getting shots like I want to get. What was that? The reason trees down is you get access to the construction or you just don't like them. <laughs> we love trees. And it'll go all but yeah, down needed, we need access to the ride. Okay. Are you going to replant? No. <laughs> there will be a fence here. <laughs> that makes sense. It's going to fence and theming around. We're going to, we are keeping this open, this area open now because previously it was that green fence you see there and the ride's pretty shut off. We want to show off our new shiny toy. Yeah, I feel like the whole Witch's Twister kind of, what's it called? Cyclone. Witch's Cyclone. Cyclone. Uh, like Twisted that. Cyclone. <laughs> What, no, I'm talking about the other one, Wicked. Uh, like they have like the stuff in it, like the theming. Yeah, so it's going to be very similar to that, but um, theming for Twisted Cycling or Hurricane. Okay. Can uh, you take a picture of the drop? Dale didn't want us to go down. Not that drop? Really, yeah, very, very muddy. Okay. The last piece of wood saw. I've never seen it. What was that? Yeah. What? The last piece of wood. The last piece of wood removed. I'm going to show you a second. Oh. Well, this all, most of this is Georgia Cyclone wood. I mean, the, the track mark. Mm -hmm. That one spot is still there. Oh, the, the one turf. piece? I think it's still there. I think it is. I know you haven't got there yet. Yeah. Yeah. If we were in there, we could get, get a better yeah, view. Yeah. Excuse me? I've never actually ridden the hybrid coaster before. Have you ridden one? I have not, no. Okay. He has. I have. What's your question, then? Afraid. It's a good one. <laughs> Which ones have you ridden? Uh, lightning Rod, Kiss Sight, uh, Colossus. Uh, Do you have projected July. opening date? Uh, yes, May 25th. July, with July. May 25th. Oh, uh, media day is the 23rd. Yeah, yeah, that's not a high Wednesday. And also, um, but I've written, uh, <laughs> 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 uh,
Big red truck. 